afraid of the dark? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Monday plan with me. Happy Halloween week everyone. This week I'm using a kit that's similar to the one that I used in my 10 minute planner challenge. And luckily Karen on that video just reminded me that the kit was probably from Crafty Mama Makes because I couldn't remember. So that's where this kit's from as well. And obviously this kit is the Hocus Pocus film themed. That's probably the most watched film ever. At Halloween in my house I love it and my children love it too I've done a quick search because I couldn't remember what year it came out and it came out in 1993 which means it's 24 years old yet I still have to watch it every Halloween so we're just gonna go and jump in and just start day by day because I didn't have any washi with the kit and I kind of felt it was colorful enough and I didn't need to pull any washi in so I wanted to upload the plan with me in the morning I have got work on Monday so I don't really have anything else so I put the full box of Sarah down I wrote down on a little quarter box that my children will have homework to do and then I wanted to use as many of the kind of deco and icons in the kit as possible so I, I haven't used that many poppets this week because I just wanted to kind of concentrate it on the Halloween kit so I just wrote down there that I want to have an early night as I have been at work all day and then moving on to Tuesday I just put a glitter header down and another one of my Halloween countdowns and then I used the full box of Mary to block off some time because I want to do some designing so I just used one of the little cauldron stickers that come with the kit and then after I wrote design down I just drew a few little stars around it just to make it look more Halloweeny. I don't know how that made it look more Halloweeny, but that's what I done. While I'm designing I want to listen to a podcast and I was saying last week, I think it was last week, that I have been listening to a podcast called Creative Minds. So I just wrote that down. And then on Tuesdays I normally do my food shop. So I did actually use a poppet for this, although I could have used the cauldron for it. Hmm. So I just wrote down food shop. Um, my children will have some more homework to do so I just use the candle because normally we are pretty late if they've got a lot of homework we're up late doing homework because I like to make sure that they have it done ready for school the next day and then I will be doing some housework I'm going to be doing housework when the kids have gone to bed so it's like a after dark housework session and then moving on to Wednesday it's actual Halloween day so I have got a to-do list I've got quite a lot of housework happening this week because I have got a Halloween party where I'm hosting a Halloween party on Saturday so to make it a little less traumatic for the rest of the people that live in this house when I go off on one on a cleaning spree the day people are coming round I thought I'd split it up and do um, things on different days and that way it's not like big one chunk and everyone's like a little overwhelmed with how much I'm running around like a mad person so on Wednesday I'm just doing like the cupboards and the skirting boards and the windows um, and then I want to carve some pumpkins with the children that we will use for our Halloween party. So they will kind of design their own faces and be able to carve them. So I just used a pumpkin sticker for that because it was kind of perfect. I was hoping to go and pick our own pumpkins. We'd done that last year. We went to like a big farm, I think it was. And there were so many there and it was so much fun. But I don't think we're going to have time to do it unfortunately so I'm just going to pick up a few pumpkins probably on Tuesday that they can carve on the Wednesday and then I want to decorate decorate I don't know what that word was I want to decorate ready for when the trick-or-treaters come around to our house so um the kids will probably help me do that and then the poppet that I put down there was my newest release it was last week and it's the poppet feelings so it's like a whole sheet of poppets with obviously different emotions so just use the shocked face and write down trick or treat and then moving on to Thursday I wanted to start off in the morning with some laundry because my tumble dryer broke down a couple of weeks ago now I think it was and if you haven't got a tumble dryer and it's not the best weather outside and you're a family of five laundry builds up and it takes you a while to kind of catch up so I want to do that Thursday morning as soon as I get up and I want to do a throwback Thursday picture on Instagram and I've got a feeling there's a new episode on one of the podcasts that I listen to I'm sure that that comes out on Thursdays so I've just marked that down and then I bought some cleaning stuff for my carpet 
thrilling stuff, I know, but I bought some, I think it's Vanish powder, something like that, but I'm going to be doing that on Thursday afternoon. And then while I'm kind of letting that all soak in, I want to call my sister and my nan. So I just used another one of the Pop It Feelings with the Love Heart eyes because I'm excited to speak to my sister and my nan. And then to block off some time as I were doing kind of other things as well, I just used the full box of Winifred. And then at the bottom there, I just put down another quarter box to mark down that my children will need to do some homework. And then moving on to Friday, I put another glitter header down and a half box as it's my new release day. I also used another one of the Pop It Feelings, the happy one. I think I used the one with the lashes on. Ooh, yes, I did. <laughs> um, and I'm super excited because this Friday is when my advent calendar finally comes out. You guys have been asking me and private messaging me. And I keep telling you, yes, it's coming out on Friday the 2nd and it's finally here and I'm super excited. So make sure you check on my shop. It will be up Friday morning before I head off to work and I'm so excited to hear everyone's feedback. So I um, obviously have work, so I put down a full box to block off all day. And then when I get home, I want to have another housework session. <laughs> I want to get the upstairs housework done and again, some laundry. I then used some of the deco stickers. I used Mary down at the bottom as I want to plan out the games that I'll be doing at the party on Saturday. And then I just put a couple of other little bits there as well. And then moving on to the weekend, I started with obviously the glitter headers at the top and then I put a to-do checklist down and just wrote down the things that I want to do in the morning because Saturday is the actual day that we're having our party. So it's kind of just running around and touching up everything that I've been doing all week. So hopefully it won't take too long, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> and then underneath, I just put down one of the deco stickers of Winnie Fred, or Winnie, as people call her, um, because I want to make sure I decorate everywhere ready for the party. I then put down a half box and wrote down party time as I didn't want to put a full box down because I felt it would be way too crowded in that section. So um, I just wrote down party time and then I wanted to add all of the poppets because I think there's going to be 14 coming. So I wanted to put 14 poppets down and yeah, it was a little bit too much. So I just took one set off, which is still fine. It still shows that there's a group of people coming. And then I wanted to put down the group of the witches at the bottom, but then I realised that Mary is next to Mary. So I just changed that out and put down the book as I wanted to write quiz questions anyway, as I'm doing kind of games for children, games for adults and children. And then I wanted to do like a quiz for adults. So that was kind of worked out perfectly anyway. And then moving on to Sunday, I put Mary back up at the top there as we'll probably have a little lay-in because obviously I've been busy all week and I've been working and then we had the party the night before. And then I put down a quarter box with the book um, to mark down for homework. It's so funny because when it comes up to Halloween, all you can hear is me and my daughter calling book like Winnie does in the film. It's so funny. I'm not as good as my daughter is, so hang on a minute, hang on. <laughs> There we go, a nice Halloween treat for you all. Book. I put the book down to mark that I wanted to film next week's plan with me. And also I'll have to edit the video, so I just used one of the candlesticks from the deco sheet. And underneath there, I just put down a checklist for everything to get ready for school the next day. And I had to remind myself to pack my lunch as well because I went off to work last week and I didn't pack myself a lunch. I I had to go all day without eating and I took one drink which I had drunk by I don't know 10 or 11 so I did not feel good that day. <laughs> and then moving on to the sidebar I put the full box down that says I put a spell on you and now you're mine and then to fill up the sidebar I just used the I don't know what you would call these these are full boxes but they're kind of got a space on that you can write 
so I thought I would have one for next week and then one just to jot down anything that I need throughout the week. So I just put Sarah at the top and then Winnie at the bottom and then to fill up the gap that was left I used the last half box which has got like a little candlestick on there. And then I have got deco stickers left to use and yes, you guessed it, I'm going to use every one. If you're new here, hi, how are you? I am Laura and I'm a sticker deco addict. I literally I cannot help myself I have to use every last piece so I mean can you see those brooms that I'm putting down on the glitter headers no no you can't but I'm still going to use them I just cannot help it <laughs> I had finished with every single piece of deco that was kind of it and then I realized I had missed a couple of um, little bits off so on the Wednesday I'd forgotten that I'm going to be uploading a video a Sims 4 video on Wednesday I've also just realized that I didn't even put down that my bins need to go out either so let's hope I don't forget that this week and then um, for the Halloween party that we have every year we have a trophy that's passed around and somebody wins it for being the best dressed and it's all kind of written on the back with all the, the years that the party's been and who's won it. So I thought I would just track it in my planner as well. I thought that'd be quite cute. So I just used a quarter box for that. So I did use pretty much all of the kit, but that was it for this week's spread. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a really lovely Halloween. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.